Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I am here to share with you guys some projects that I am creating um, for Just A Few Designs Block Hop. And Elsa's Block Hop is titled Tis The Season. It runs from December 2nd to December 4th, so that's three days of hopping. And then you have to um, leave a comment on every um, blog post. It's a blog hop, not a YouTube hop. But you have to leave a comment on every blog post all through the days in order to win the eye candy that Elsa has available. I will post the information below um, where you need to go um, to start the blog and, and from then on. I am doing this video so that um, you can see how I created my project. There will be pictures and stuff on the blog obviously because it is a blog hop but uh, I'm more of a visual learner so for those of us who are visual as well you can you can go over to the blog look at the pictures step by step or you can just watch the video if you like so what I've created is um, for day one is um, my theme is projects to give away for the for the season so for those extra projects, uh, extra paper and, and Christmas stuff that you have available. This is a good way to kind of, you know, clear out your area for the new, for the new, new. And, um, plus you can give a homemade gift and it means a lot to somebody that you've made it, made it yourself. Anyway, without further rambling, I've created a photo holder. So it's really, really cute. I love it. Um, and this is like when you get the photos in, um, like from Target when you pick up your photo and it comes in that little, that little package. So, um, I thought of, so my mother-in-law is, um, she loves, loves, loves pictures. So I always just give them to her as I go and she's not up to date where she has a digital file and such. So I just give them to her in an envelope or I just get them from Target and give her the envelope. Well, I just thought it'd be easier if I just start making them and then I can categorize them for her so she can have Kyla's birthday or whatever, Christmas and whatever. She have them all organized. So this is my project. And I use an awesome paper stack. It's so cute. Um, I got it from Joanne. Shantae told me about it. It's the Mrs. Claus kitchen stack. Beautiful, beautiful papers. You guys got to check it out. It's from Die Cuts with the View. And um, this came... I just uh, did some fussy cutting. It's another sheet of paper. And I just, this came like that. The little, how they have it all arranged together. It says, Christmas joys in my heart. And then I have a little uh, sentiment popped up on some scallop circles. It says, for you. Some little jingle bells that I got from Michael's. And some ribbon. And then this uh, sentiment I got from the Cutting Cafe. It says, holiday photos. And I put two bling, bling blings there. And I just layered that on top of another sheet of paper. This paper from the collection. So glittery. It's so pretty. So, um, very, this one is pr particularly simple. You can make, you can make 10 of these. I mean, in, in assembly line style. You got it. You, you paste it. You're done. So let me show you how it looks on the inside. So that just pops up. I layered it. I think I'm going to do, when I show you how to do it, I'm going to do another layer, white border. Because I like that crisp look and then these are just photos so these are not holiday photo photos obviously obviously these are from the farm <laughs> but um i just wanted to give you an example of how how it looks so you have a lot of space in there look at how much photos i have that's a thick, thick space so there and you just and i cut out a little circle for easy pulling put them in there close it up you can put a sentiment up here or what have you but I just tied it back and you have a cute little a cute little look for it see so cute so without further ado here is the tutorial you guys check out the next person in the blog hop and remember to leave a comment to receive uh to for a chance to receive some awesome goodies from Elsa bye enjoy Okay, this is the tutorial on how to make the um, photo holder that I created for um, Elsa's Just A Few Designs um, blog hop. And these, this photo holder can hold um, full 4x6 photos and a lot of them. So, let's get started. You're going to need two sheets of 85 by 11 cardstock. Or you'll need two pieces of cardstock cut down at. So, we need one sheet. Cut down to <clears throat> ten and a half by seven and a quarter. So I'm going to do that with you right now, so you can see how quickly this goes. 
So ten and a half by seven and a quarter. And then the second one you'll need to be cut down to nine and a quarter by four. Nine and a quarter by four. All right, that's it for now <clears throat> with the trimmer until we get ready to mat. So now you'll need your scoreboard. And we're going to start out using the 10 and a half by 7 and a quarter sheet of cardstock. So put it on the long side, 10 and a half on that way. You want to score at 4 and a half and at 5, 9 and a half, and at 10. So your paper should look like that. Set that aside and then take your other sheet, your nine and a quarter by four, and then on the long side, the nine and a quarter side, you wanna score on the left here, side of the left, you wanna score at a half inch and then one inch and then eight and a quarter and then eight and three quarters. So it'll look like that. Okay. Now, if you, you're done with the scoreboard for now, or you're done with scoreboard, period. If you wanted to um, put your notch in the middle, and get prepared to do that, because this is the sheet where we have the little um, pull tab on the inside, little notch, so that easy easily can pull out the photos. Um, you want to go ahead and take your larger sheet, and then just fold over your, on your score marks. Okay, and then the other side here. Okay, now this one will be a mountain valley fold. So you want to go um, the outside piece, you want to fold, oh, I have to do it this way. Outside piece is the valley, so it looks like a V. That's how it should look. So valley, mountain. And you do that for the uh, opposite side as well. So the first score mark, the first one score mark that you hit, fold down, and then the second score mark, fold up. So your paper should look like that. Okay. Now, you want to, so the paper will be sitting, or the, the holder will be sitting like this. This is how, if you can try to envision it, how it'll look. So take your score tape or some sturdy, sturdy adhesive and place adhesive feet up. So the feet are up on these two parts. I'm going to do that with my my um, scrapbook tape that I got, which was a very good deal, by the way. Put that on. I'm just going to put two strips because I know that the one that I'm making this for, they'll be going in and out of this book. So I'm going to put two strips just to add some extra stability. So that's that. Make sure that's on there nice and nice and tight. So at this point, I am going to distress my edges because I just don't like the look of this naked cardstock. And as soon as I find my distressing ink will be good. There we go. So I'm just going to take the time and just really quickly distress my edges. Just a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm using vintage photo. Put 
Okay. And then I'm going to do the other one. I love the look of this photo book. It just seems like, you know, I was giving her, like I said, I was giving her photos and envelopes or what have you and just, you know, here you go or paper clips or, and I'm like, okay, I'm a scrapper. Why can't I think of just making one of those? It's pretty smart. All right. So that's done. Edges are all complete. Now, you will want to, oh, I forgot to put some tape on here. Put some, uh, get your score tape out. So you have your long sheet here. You want tape on this bottom half, but underneath. So you wanna put it under there because that's going to attach this way. See that? So there's the, the top half, you have the two score marks, your bottom two score marks here. So at this bottom flap, just underneath here. So I'm going to flip it over and put tape on this flat last edge. And you can use your ATG if you're comfortable, of course. Now I'm going to take the tape off and connect my two pieces. This is so difficult to do it. Well, I'm not, head's not all in the tape. <laughs> okay, so we want to take the bottom half and attach it, either side, doesn't matter, to the bottom of this piece. Just line it up as perfectly as you can. There we go. I'm just gonna give that a good bone. So this is how your paper should look. You have one continuous piece now. Now these two flaps are going to go just like so, so this is where your notch would be, okay? So you want to fold these flaps in a bit, it's going to be a bit tight, I just like to fold them over a little bit to give them a good scoring, I guess. So I'm going to take my tape off and attach this flap with the dent going in to the edge of this. So these two are going to touch. Make sure you don't um, fold it flat like so, like edge to edge and then put this in there because that won't work. You have to leave the score part, you have to leave this uh, half inch gap there and tuck that on the inside. Okay. If you could think of an easier way to do that, but this is the way that I, this is the way that I did it. So, and it worked. So I'm going to set that down fold it over and line it up give it a good squeezing give it a good squeezing there we go so let's do the other side or I probably should have took the tape off at the same time but I'm messy so my chances of uh, them sticking together would have been very high so I just want to line in my Make sure I'm all on camera here. Line it up. Uh -oh. Not lined perfectly. All right, give it a good squeeze and there we go. So I'm gonna add my, let me just tighten this up, both sides. I'm going to add my notch because I like it, but I'm just going to do a circle one. Just a little notch. And of course I have to distress the notch now. So there's our book.
basically. That's our photo book. With our little gusset. So now all we have to do is mat. Mat it. So the measurements for matting, and I'm going to use, I'm going to go back with Mrs. Claus paper. This is going to be my cover piece. I'm just going to fussy cut that out because I like, I like this little saying right there. But this is going to be my base. Put this stuff away. Get my trimmer out. So the front, the mat sizes for, I'm sorry, the front measurements um, for the front, of course, this, this piece and underneath and the back of this piece and the back are, are, this, are all the same at seven and a quarter by four and a half. So now I'm going to actually put another mat layer before I put my pattern paper there in white. So the measurements for the um, photo book are seven and a quarter by four and a half. So I'm just going to do that the first layer an eighth of an inch smaller and then another eighth of an inch smaller. So I'm going to cut it at um, seven and an eighth by, so if it's four and a half. So that's four and a half, it's four and a quarter in between those two. So one notch under four and a half. I don't know that right now. And I'm going to make sure that, that fits. I don't trust my math sometimes. And it does. So I'm going to create one, two, three in that size. So it's seven and an eighth by four and, here, let me get it for you. Four and three eighths. So, whew, we're done matting so far. So, I'm gonna take my smaller piece out. That's all we want to do now is mat. I'm gonna add my ATG gun and or uh, add my ATG tape. And I will fast forward or cut this off and see you guys when I'm done matting. Now, at this point, you guys can add um, the paper strip in here. And that's this length, the seven and a quarter, and that's a half an inch if you want to. I think I would go ahead and do that um, to, cover, to cover the middle, this strip here, or, uh, and this one and the bottom one. So I left mine plain on the outside because I liked it, but I did the inside. So I'm just going to add a thin strip, which is, a, like I said, it's a little bit shorter than a half inch, just a tiny bit because the, the gusset is half an inch. So you don't want to take up the whole thing. You want to be able to close the book. And it's seven and a quarter, a little bit shorter than that. All right, I'm just going to add some tape. There we go. So that's my book so far. So cute. And then um, I'm using another piece of pattern paper from the collection and I'm going to do similar uh, something similar that I did to the other one and I'm just going to fussy cut around that piece really quick well not really quick but I'm not a quick cutter okay finally the finished product so cute here to balance so I end up using the photos just plain photos put two little blinks there um uh, on the corners and the top this little sentiment says good tidings we bring to you and your kin we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year and i just did for you on the pop dot on the circle with the bells tied it with some jute rope 
and then we're done. It's the back. You can put a little sentiment there or whatever you want to put on the back. And remember, you can do the top and bottom if you like. I don't, I don't like, so I won't. So anyway, that's that project. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this long tutorial. But and I hope you learned something. <laughs> um, check over at the blog to be a part of just a few designs blogspot.coms. Tis the season blog hop and you can win a be eligible to win a prize or some goodies from Elsa and though um, there you go so those are my two projects photo holders thank you guys for watching bye